Father, I command those devils of blindness to come out of this man. I command in Jesus' name those devils of blindness to leave this man in Jesus' holy name. Spirit, fall upon this man. Heal this man. And now introducing the top Marvel hero who whooped Thanos' butt. What? Wait, who are you? I'm Minxie. Um... Who? I'm in a few Marvel comic books. Come on, I'm ready to fight. Let's go. Let's do this. I have literally never heard of you. Wait, you really don't know who I am? Nope. I accompanied and cared for Medusa when she fled from Adelan. What's your power? Animal form. See? <laughs> Similar to Beast Boy, but I'm better because I'm Marvel and not DC. You see the drippy, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. It's a new day, which means a new topic is going to offend people just by the title. Shout out to the people who actually don't watch the video on a video platform. Anyway, we are talking about religion. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome as well. My name is Michelle McDaniel. I am a personal trainer, a proud mommy of a pug. Ex theater nerd kid turned grown up cosplayer. And we are cosplaying as a Marvel character called Minxie, a character I have never heard of and I just kind of found her on Google randomly and I was like, we're gonna cosplay her. So I threw on the pink wig and here we are, muscles and all. So we're not just going to just dog on Christians. What I'm talking about today can happen in all religions. And pretty much what I wanna talk about is the people that use their religion to make money off vulnerable people or people who claim to be this all powerful being called by God to help the human race. What would you do right there? I'm looking right at you. What would you do if I told you that there are people on this earth, these people walk among us that can heal cancer. If you are blind, they can help you see. If you are hard of hearing, AKA deaf, well it's your lucky day because with just a small touch or a slap in the face, you will be cancer free, see, or hear again. But before we start watching these superhuman beings that were sent by God to help cure people and help people for just a small little fee of a donation at the end of their service, who can cure some pretty serious illnesses that doctors, surgeons can't even cure, Kanye West has found the Lord. Would you consider yourself to be a Christian music artist now? I'm just a Christian everything. Kanye West is now a full-blown Christian. He is changing everything in his household. There is no more TV in the kids' room. Little North is not allowed to wear makeup anymore, according to Kim K. That sparked a huge fight between the couple. I'm personally not against that. I don't have kids, but if I had a little girl and she probably would want to wear makeup because she sees mommy dressing up, which I wouldn't mind if she dressed up occasionally, you know, costumes, whatnot, just having fun. What little girl didn't do that? But according to what I read, it seems like she Get the little girl wears makeup to like events and they go to events all the time. So it'll be interesting to hear your guys' opinion about that. But Kanye even announced at the 2019 Fast Company Innovation Festival that he's suggesting that he may legally change his name to Christian genius billionaire Kanye West. I might legally change my name to Christian <laughs> genius billionaire Kanye West for a year until, <laughs> until y'all understand exactly what it is. I thought that was cool. Christian genius. Think you can make fun of me? I'm a genius. I'm the voice of a generation. Billionaire. I mean, I personally love when Christians or just religious people brag about how much of a genius they are and uh, how much money they have. Christian genius billionaire Kanye West. It really shows how humble they are, especially if they're gonna change their name to have genius and billionaire at the front of the name that people actually know them by. I'm a genius. But congrats, Kanye, on this new love for your Lord and Savior. I'm sure you're totally not trying to get attention. I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. This is obviously genuine. Okay, so some of you are not religious people. Some of you, actually quite a bit of you have said that you have never even gone to church. Like religion is just not in your family. You didn't grow up with religion. You don't really know anything about Sky Daddy up here. So for the people who don't know, did you know there are people pastors who uh, lead churches and tell their following that they have been chosen by Sky Daddy himself and have the power given from the Lord to turn various liquids. So this is fuel. Into another liquid. To them that were thinking that this fuel is juice, if you can look at that 
Well, it looks like apple juice, but it's not. I want to prove to you with the flame that will burn here that it is evident enough for you to have faith that in the book of Luke 137, nothing is impossible with God. Or in this case, some type of healing pineapple juice. So I'm turning it into a pineapple juice. The word is upon it. How is it? <coughs> There's a lot of fumes. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I don't have any uh, side effect. You feel fine? Yes. You you feel fine? Fine? Yes. Pineapple juice. And we know this because the pastor had this random guy come up there and say uh, that it's pineapple juice. So we know it's true. And like I said, it's not just some random pineapple juice from Vaughn's. It's healing pineapple juice. Oh. You want to drink pineapple juice? I think it's supposed to help this woman fix whatever's going on here. Okay. I'm not really sure what's going on. The whole crowd seems to have caught whatever she had. Is it sweet? Is it nice? How is it? How is it? Is it nice? There are people on this earth able to heal serious illnesses through touch. So this guy, for instance, heals people through Jesus kicks. Jesus. Jesus himself is just working through that kick. Jesus. Yep, he's finding the perfect spot for those kicks. Jesus. There are people who we are just us commoners, uh, we are just not worthy. I can cure some of just the most painful diseases through just faith. Father, I command those devils of blindness to come out of this man. I command in Jesus' name those devils of blindness to leave this man in Jesus' holy name. Spirit, fall upon this man. A single man can just believe that he will heal you. And right there on stage, which is broadcasted on live television, where he asks for donations, performs it right in front of our eyes. I went in and had the surgery done the first time and it didn't work. The great surgeon had just done the job. You heard it from them, people. It's a miracle. Somebody shout hallelujah. Some of these people will even slap the devil out of you. This is honestly great therapy for him. Every week on the day that he heals people, he can just take his frustration out on the members and then mask it as healing. So I came across a guy who did a whole series that exposed pastors or people who claim to have these powers and I wanted to watch it with you guys. So pretty much a couple guys go into this project to expose churches and how they kind of just use people who are very vulnerable and you know, Jesus is their thing and they will do anything for Jesus and his, you know, hand-picked elite people who have these certain powers. Jesus. And how they, the pastors use uh, these vulnerable people for profit. Many of them are here to seek a release from the harsh economic realities. If these people were now getting their miracles, by now they would have stopped coming. Today, miracle preaching is the shortest path to wealth in Nigeria. Preachers and heads of churches have joined the ranks of Nigeria's wealthiest. Pastor Adeboye himself has a palatial home and a private jet among other luxury items. So one of them is posing as a pastor and he just wanted to, you know, experience what this church was all about. This doesn't feel right for one of these places. The church that they chose promotes faith healing. The thought of this person just asking Jesus to just remove the devil blindness out of said person. I command this hearing to be restored, to be restored now. Um, it's pretty amazing, so let's get in on this. One of these places. We've been told about a well-known local faith healer called Pastor Sean Pinder. Just a quick note, right at the start, I noticed that there is a big old SpongeBob in the front of the building, and SpongeBob happens to be my lord and savior. So, 
We know it's gonna be good. Mr. Sean Pinder. Oh, 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 we turn up unannounced to meet him where he's guesting at a small service in the unlikely venue of a children's nursery. Pastor James asks Pastor Sean and his host if he and the camera crew can stay, and luckily they agree. So people get very into these type of things. I've been to a couple as a kid and it is intense. <laughs> Not my thing. I went when I was like seven or eight and I was scared. But also very intrigued as to what is going on. Seems like a very welcoming guy. And very passionate about gay people. If you are Indian, you are hot of hearing. I want you to come up here. You come here. He pulls up a random guy. You out of hearing? If, if we close up your left ear and speak to you, would you be able to hear? This man says he's partially deaf in one ear. Apparently he can't speak, just shakes his head. Which Pastor Sean is quick to express as a more major affliction. You can't hear nothing. But with just a touch and his finger dug up in this man's other ear. In the video explains that the pastor said that he's going to stick his finger in this man's ear because he wants to prove to everyone that uh, this guy, after he heals him, is hearing through the ear that he can't normally hear from. So he's just going to plug this one up uh, because he obviously won't hear a man that is screaming and has a microphone right behind his head. But they start screaming, reopen. The pastor is screaming it. The crowd is screaming it. We're screaming it. Reopen. Can you hear me? Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. To prove the man's deaf ear had been healed, Pastor Sean had him face away so he couldn't lip read and had his assistant block his good ear. But from this camera angle, you can see that the man's good ear isn't being blocked at all. <laughs> so, even though he could probably still hear him, there's a microphone, he's screaming into this microphone. They still pretty much cheated and didn't even block his good ear. Their faith must have been low with this one. So this man who can supposedly hear falls to the ground and the crowd is going wild. A miraculous healing has just been performed right in front of their eyes. Right in front of our eyes. Who the hell wouldn't believe this? So not only can this guy help people who are deaf, but he can also help improve your mobility and your flexibility. This lady couldn't touch her toes. She is nearly able to touch her toes after spending years with a spinal problem. And now she can. So the whole healing ceremony lasted for four hours. The pastor is sweaty and wiped out. I mean, come on, you guys. That's a lot of Holy Ghost energy being extracted out of this man. I'm guessing it's very similar to the anime fairy tale when they use too much magic power and then they're just done. Both very similar, both very, very real. We all know that. Can you hear me? Say Jesus. Jesus. So the very sweaty pastor goes to the back after this very insightful healing ceremony where I only heard that being gay is wrong, he doesn't care what Oprah says, and then he performed obvious uh, realistic, true healings from the power of his fingertips. I mean, the sermon was four hours and the video that they took was very short, so I'm almost positive that he at least read from the Bible and uh, put in some positivity. It couldn't have possibly been just a lot of yelling and telling everybody that they're wrong. But then at the end, it's time to collect the money. You guys know the money so that, you know, you can keep the church going and the pastor can keep performing these healings that cost a lot of money for him to do. He's got to make some type of profit so he's able to keep healing people like the deaf man, who is also the man collecting all of the money. When encouraged to do so, the congregation are very happy to hand over their cash, which is collected by the man who was healed of his deafness. because he's not in on this scam at all. So pretty much the man that was sitting in on the sermon said that he had never experienced anything like that before. The energy was intense. He said that it seemed like the whole four hour sermon meant to be more entertaining and to just cause some type of emotional reaction from the members so that they'd be more inclined to give their money at the end of the sermon. I feel bad for my duplicity. I feel bad for my being a spy basically. But the business of their profession 
is to get as much money out of people as possible. We should be talking about faith and love, and it's always about money. Members are very encouraged to give to God. And of course, people who love God are going to want to give anything that they have to God and make him happy to prove their Christianity or just, you know, whatever religion that they are. I just thought it was very interesting that Kanye was talking about he is a genius Christian billionaire. Reminded me of all the pastors that think very highly of themselves. There are many pastors that are millionaires because of these healings that they promote or profit in general from the donations of the people. And the people give these donations because they feel obligated to because they love the Lord so much. And what do good people do? They give to the Lord. Benny Hens is a pastor who is known for his public healings and his net worth is $42 million. He's never healed anyone. It's all a scam. And it's ridiculous and I just wanted to kind of give my opinion on it because that bothers me so much. I have no problem with people who are religious or if you're very much into your religion. I think that's awesome. I grew up in a Christian household, but we weren't one of those like intense Christians, I guess you could call it. We never went to church. My mom just kind of forced us to listen to the Bible every single day for 30 minutes as she read. I mean, I wasn't listening very much because can you blame me? I was what, eight years old? All I wanted to do was play Pokemon. And I find people that think that they can just heal from the touch or their faith or just speaking it to the sky, ridiculous. Jesus. And if you have any other ridiculous things, videos, events that you want me to react to, make sure to leave it in the comment section. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you want more of me and Minxy, check me out on Instagram and Twitter. I left it down below, links below for your convenience. Make sure to check out my last video. It's a whole 30 minute video dressed as Blair White. And on that note, I have to go make sure that people know that I am from Marvel. Just because I'm a side character doesn't mean I can't whoop some butt. Bye guys. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up.